Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and uh, today is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually teaching an online class. I wanted to show you some of the mistakes most students make when they first start UV mapping. In this example, I am going to be helping a student UV map their table. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, good job on the model, but uh, as you can see the default is actually still a cube. So let's say if I create a cube right now, you can see that the cube and your object has the exact same UVs except it's got a lot more edges. And uh, when you put the texture on, it's not going to look right. So we need to actually fix the UVs. Uh, your object is uh, pretty simple, so I'm going to show you a couple of methods uh, on how to UV map this. Uh, usually I kind of take a look at the basic shapes, break it down into shapes. So for example, um, up here at the top is probably going to be a planar mapping. Uh, anything flat and then these guys your legs would be cylindrical uh, sometimes you might get lucky and go to UVs and do automatic mapping and uh, what it does it's actually projects on all six cameras and you're gonna get a lot of pieces so you, I'm gonna spend some time actually sewing them together usually what I do is I want to have as little edges as possible alright so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some edges so I'm gonna grab these guys right here for example and I'm gonna go to here and then stitch together and what it does is that it actually moves the object it actually combines them together so I'm gonna grab these edges and what I'm trying to do is just avoid as many seams as possible so stitch together stitch together stitch together and you might want to grab these guys here just to kinda avoid all that stitch together so, all right, I'm going to grab this to shell, control right click to shell, move that out of the way. And uh, let me see what it looks like with a grid. So you can see that the UVs are falling really well, but the problem is just too many seams. It's going to be very challenging to actually work with all those seams. Uh, let's see, the next part is this. If I grab this, control right click to shell. Now look below it, you can see that that's actually this area. Now what I could do is just leave it and just overlap it because a lot of people are not going to see the bottom of it, but if people were going to see the bottom of it, you might want to sew it. But I'm just going to go ahead and move it over here. Alright, let's talk about the legs. Man, we have a lot of pieces. Um, well, usually I try to find out where all these pieces are. Alright, so I'm going to grab this edges over here and uh, stitch together. Grab these guys and stitch together. Grab these guys and stitch together. So, again, I'm trying to avoid as many seams as possible. Alright, let's see. So you can see that that piece is right there. So stitch together. Stitch together. Stitch together. Let's make this workflow a little faster by selecting more than just one edge. and stitch together. Alright, so that's moving along. Go to right click UVs, select it, control right click to shell, move it back in here. Let's see what these guys are. Let's go to edge. Alright, so we probably do want to start sewing these guys together. So again, stitch together. And it falls here, so I might leave that alone. Um, Let's grab these, stitch together, stitch together. Two UVs, move it aside. Gonna find out what's going on here. It's a shell. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. So let's find these guys, stitch. 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 Grab one UV, control right click to shell. Edge. Stitch together. Okay, so that's good. So you can already see how easier it is to maintain if all these pieces are actually combined. Alright, so that's the bottom. So again, if you want to share texture information, you just overlap them. So make a big chunk, control right click to UV shell, move it over here. This can be a little bit bigger to shell, make it a little bigger, 
move these guys out of the way. Start overlapping them, or at least put them close by. There we go. And we gotta place these guys somewhere. Let's see where they are. Oh, they're at the bottom. Okay. So we'll touch them at the bottom. We have the edge. Then stitch together. Grab these edges. You can see where it's going to be down here. Stitch together. Stitch together. And one more. Stitch together. All right. Gonna move this up. I'm gonna start moving things around so it maximizes my UV space. To shell. And uh, let's see what the grid looks like. There you go. So now it's gonna be a lot easier to texture. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave comments below, and send suggestions. I am always interested in hearing what you think. Alright, I will see you next time.